Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Advice to Think Twice. My name is Monica and I'm here with your quick advice love focus readings for the week of August 24, 2015. This reading is for coupled and single Capricorns, your overall tone of the week and what you need to remember in case you get stuck or you need some advice. Um, thank you for all the support you're giving me, I truly, truly appreciate it. Please bear in mind these are general readings and so they may not apply to all of you and if you'd like a private reading please email me at advice to think twice at gmail.com and I'll get back to you with all the information you need to schedule a reading. For a couple of Capricorns you have the Two of Earth with Azor. So the Two of Earth is about um, too much going on at once, the need to make a decision and consider a more playful approach. Azure is telling you your desired outcome will occur in the very near future. Have patience and faith and don't try to force it to happen. For some of you I feel like this is related to uh, you wishing to start a family, you wishing for a pregnancy. Um, the cards are telling you uh, you don't have to worry about it anymore, you don't have to stress about it. Um, find a more fun approach to it, don't make it stressful and you will have your desired outcome. For others, I feel like this is you and your partner looking at an investment, whether that is buying a house, whether that is moving, whether that is um, moving in together or buying something together. And right now you're not sure which way to go. The cards are telling you you don't have to stress about it. You will have your desired outcome, whatever you decide it will come to you in the very near future and you need to have patience and faith and don't try to force things. For others I feel like this is you um, having to juggle your work and your relationship or your family life and you are getting a bit overwhelmed and you are getting a bit stressed and um, the card the cards are telling you that you will find your balance and you will be able to uh, manage everything you need to manage you don't have to stress about it find a playful approach don't stress about it once you find a playful ap approach you allow your creativity to come in and that will make things a lot easier for you because you will get a lot of new ideas, new perspectives on how to proceed, on how to do things. But again, this is a week where you and your partner are focused on making things grow, whether that is a pregnancy or moving in together or getting married, you're focusing on um, solidifying your relationship, solidifying your partnership and you will get whatever you desire, it will come to you in the very near future and have patience and faith and be playful and don't try to force things to happen. What you need to remember, you have go for it. Your prayers and positive expectations have been heard and answered. We've been working with you on this situation since its genesis and we continue to watch over you and everyone involved. Stay on your present path as it will take you very far indeed. So again, it's about having faith, having patience, believing that you will get what you wish for and you don't have to force anything to happen. It's about finding your inner strength and your inner balance and believing and having faith that everything will work out as it is meant to work out for you and you will get whatever it is that you wish for in your relationship this week. 
for single Capricorns, you have the star with Isabella. So the star is about happy times. It's about making positive, optimistic, long-term plans and you are on the right path. It's about um, you getting your wish, uh, you having hope and faith. Isabella says, yes, the timing is right for this new venture. A happy outcome follows your positive expectations. So definitely uh, someone coming in for you this week. This could be an Aquarius. Um, or it could be a water sign, a Scorpio, a Cancer, or a Pisces. And um, this person coming in is coming in at the right time. They are healing you. They are giving you hope. They are making you excited for the future. Um, you could see yourself with this person in the long term. And you are getting your wish this week. Whatever you've been wishing for when it comes to your love life is coming true for you this week. And you will receive um, signs. Your intuition will tell you who this person is. You need to uh, trust your intuition and um, allow the signs to come into you. But it's definitely a very good week. Um, it's a week of you getting your wish, getting what you wished for, um, having the outcome you desire. happy times and making plans for the future. What you need to remember, you have Law of Attraction. Each thought is an investment that pays immediate dividends, so invest wisely. You have the power to choose your thoughts and align them with love, peace and harmony. At your request, we will gladly attune your energies to higher frequencies. So this is all about you seeing what it is that you want, you visualizing it, you um, seeing the partner you want coming in for you, seeing the relationship you want happening for you. And whatever you are focusing your um, attention towards, whatever you are uh, using affirmations to attract will come to you this week. So this is a very powerful week for you, a week of um, manifestation, um, a week of um, you being clear on what it is you desire because it will come to you this week. It's a week of um, staying positive, having positive loving thoughts towards yourself, towards relationships, towards the people around you. And you will attract a lot of love in turn. You will attract the situation you want, you will attract the person you wish for and the relationship you wish for this week. So I'm very happy for you Capricorns. Um, please like, share, subscribe and comment and let me know how these cards play out for you in your particular life situations. It will be um, a different thing for different people because it is a general reading. Um, Thank you again for all your support and thank you for being here with me. I hope you've enjoyed the reading and you have a wonderful week and I'll see you next week. Take care.